Hello one and all and welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Now I'm afraid for some of you this might be a really boring video. However, lots of you have been asking me over and over again to give an overview of all the cameras and equipment I use to make my videos. So, as you may have seen from my Twitter or Instagram, I'm currently in Germany with Paul Wallace checking out the new Ford Mustang. But tonight I am packing all my gear for that trip and I thought it might be quite a good time to sit down and talk to you through all the different cameras and equipment and stuff I use to make my videos. Now I've actually switched over to my old point and shoot camera because there is my main video camera. So I'm gonna run through all this gear with you, which is currently laid out in slight OCD form, mainly for the video, but also for my packing purposes, because I'm weird like that. Um, this is mainly the video gear. As you see, it's not very much stuff that I use to make my videos, but I've also just thrown in some other stuff which I'm gonna be packing up today, which I thought I wanted to show you. Most importantly, of course, the scene through glass cap, which adds nothing to the videos, but I like to wear for in-your-face branding. These are just some hats that I've knocked together myself. They're not for sale or anything like that as of yet. I have my trusty laptop, MacBook Pro, and my headphones because no one wants to hear me when I'm editing some videos. More boring stuff here. I've got my wallet, which is a crazy yellow card. Don't ask me why, it should be red. Got my watch, which is an Omega Speedmaster. Got some sunglasses. I have a couple of pairs of these. These are sort of rip-off top man 20 quid ones, and then I have some Ray-Bans as well. And then we get on to the equipment. So, this right here is a wind muffler for my Rode microphone. Now, I actually use, let's see if I can find it. So this was the bad boy that I used to use, which was really, really good. But I put it in my bag, because I'm a bit careless with my equipment sometimes. And I don't know if you can see, it kind of snapped off. So, so this is what I'm using at the minute, which is pretty good. It makes quite a bit of noise, but we'll use that for now. And that plugs into my main camera. So, all of you ask me about this. This is a Samsung NX30, and this is what I shoot pretty much all my videos on these days. Hello one and all, hello one and all, hello one and all, hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass. This is so beaten up. As you see, I can't actually close the battery cover because I've dropped it so many times. The viewfinder's got a massive crack in it, but it is an awesome, awesome camera. And at the minute, I've got a 16 to 50 mil power zoom lens, which actually works really well for my videos. I hardly ever zoom, but I just like it. So that is my main camera, people, Samsung NX30. Plonk that back down. Here is the tripod that I use to film the videos. It's very much Casey Neistat inspired. And if you watch any of Casey Neistat's videos, you will know that he uses this similar rig with DSLR, microphone, and basically anal beads as a tripod, um, but it's a perfect setup. And he did a video recently saying that he was the original. I know he was the original. I totally copied his setup there because I thought it was freaking awesome. So that's my main rig, as you would say, but then we have lots of other gear. These I want to show you right away. These, which I have now spoken about a couple of times in some of my videos, are my point of view glasses. So right there is a 1080p camera. I'm going to put these on and you'll be able to see my point of view. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to go straight to the, uh, the beach club? They are pivot head Durangos and I think they're freaking awesome. However, the audio that records on them is awful and the battery life is really bad. But the camera is wicked and it means you can drive without being distracted to holding up cameras. Yeah, I've switched back to my main camera because this piece of poo, which was the point of shoot that I was using, ran out of battery in about two seconds because I just don't use it anymore. But that was a Fujifilm uh, X10, Fujifilm X10. I used to use that for my photos on Instagram, but not anymore. So you can bugger off anyway. I, I literally, I mean, I do not use that. I was just trying to film everything. So yeah, those are the Pivot Head Durangos. This is a GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition, which I use for all my in-car stuff. God knows what. Continue straight. Yeah, I know, no, Susie. No, Shut no, up, no, Susie. No, I'm not in the mood for your whiny, whiny crap. No. To the I know where I'm going! And this, this is what I capture the audio for the Pivot Head Durangos. So I have to, I have to combine these to get the audio from the GoPro for the visuals from the Pivot Head. I've got some cases there, that's my suction mount for the GoPro. This is my old Sony Handycam. 
and I got this for Monaco last year. I hardly use this anymore, the quality is crap, but it's super light and it's easy to put in your pocket. So sometimes if I know I'm gonna film for a long day, I take this as a backup. Uh, what else can I show you here? This portable charger for my phone, batteries, uh, spare memory cards. I've got a selfie stick for the GoPro, just in case I wanna do some high up stuff, get them angles, more batteries. That's another mount for the GoPro, battery charger. This is a pivot head accessory. So you get this and you can plug it into those glasses to create some more memory. So you just put a memory card in there, that's pretty good. Um, and then we've got a lens there, I've got a multi-international power plug. I've got a hard drive, I don't need to bring that hard drive but I'm just going to show it to you. And then this, a polarizing lens. So I use this really more for iPhone photos but I do stick it on the old lens there, and what it does is reduce reflections. So that's good for filming cars sometimes, so you get that anti-glare on the windscreen. So that's pretty much it. As I said at the beginning, it's probably a pretty boring video for lots of you, but I wanted to do it and get out of the way so that those who have been asking now know all the gear that I use to make my videos. As I said, if you're following me on Twitter or Instagram, you will know that I'm in Germany at the minute with Paul Wallace. I seem to spend all my time with Paul Wallace at the minute. Next week, I'm gonna make all my videos without Paul Wallace being in them. But tune in because the video of the Mustang from Germany will be going up over the weekend, and I will be using all of this gear to capture it. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. It hasn't been too boring for those who haven't been interested and make sure you subscribe because plenty more videos using this gear will be coming soon. I've teamed up with Tim. Hello one and all. Oh god. It is supercars or sports cars on my occasion. You can have supercars. It's an F type oh. It's alright. We are going to hunt down Paul and Seb. Oh look that truck's me blue. Buy it. Um, I don't just buy anything with wheels because it's blue. 